everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali, and this is my son Josh, and we are determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized face nice and tidy. Josh just woke up from his nap, so he's gonna be joining me for today's video. We don't have the space for a dining table in our condo. All we have is a small table and chair set that our kids use for everything from doing crafts to eating dinner. My husband and I also use it a lot since we don't have a dining or a coffee table. The table was originally white and within a couple months my kids had already stained the white tabletop with their markers and paint. Um, the table was still in good condition so I didn't want to throw it out or donate it. So what I had done was I ordered adhesive chalkboard paper and covered one side of the table. Before I applied the chalkboard paper I made sure to clean the table and I also had to take it apart to make sure that the chalkboard paper went right to the edge of the table. It's been over a year since I applied the chalkboard paper, so it did hold up pretty well, but as you can see, it started to peel off around the edges. I wanted a bit more use out of this table, so I purchased some chalkboard spray paint. Once again, I took the table apart and cleaned it before applying the spray paint. I decided to spray the side without chalkboard paper because I didn't know how well the spray paint would adhere to the paper. I also didn't want to try peeling it off and dealing with all of the sticky residue. I applied the first coat of chalkboard paint and allowed it to dry for a couple hours. I then applied a second coat and let it dry for a couple more hours. I then reassembled the table and it was almost as good as new. If you plan on doing this project or something similar, I'd recommend that you use the spray paint instead of the chalkboard paper. The spray paint looks smoother and it seems a bit more durable. We love having this table in our condo. It's a lot more versatile than a coffee table or a dining table. And since it's light and small, we can easily move it to a different room if we need a large open space. If you like the tips I shared in this video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be posting a video full of productivity tips. I'll share how I managed to accomplish a lot every single day and explain how you can do the same. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. I've been told by many of my followers that when it comes to organizing, they simply don't know where to start. They're overwhelmed and just can't find the time to do it. Well, I'm working on an online program called Clear the Clutter that will help you get organized step by step. If you're interested in learning how to organize your entire home, implement organization systems that actually work, learn how to meal plan, create a detailed home maintenance and cleaning schedule, then sign up on the wait list for my Clear the Clutter program. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!